How's it going everybody? It's Aparicio and in today's video we're going to be going over the color slice tool in DaVinci Resolve. We're going to go over the tools, we're going to go over how to use it. From what I'm hearing everybody's loving it and I think it's pretty cool. It makes a lot of things a lot easier and a lot more accessible. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Alright so this is the shot I'm using. A lot of different colors in the shot. That's why I used it. Let's go ahead and and we're going to call it CS for a color slice. So let's just jump right into it. We can see we have this top bar here first to start off. Now you got to keep in mind these controls at the very top. This top bar here is where our global corrections are. All right. So this affects the whole image up here and then everything below here affects individual color ranges. So the density here is going to adjust the luminance of the more saturated colors. All right. So let's put ours all the way down and let's put it all the way up to the right. You could obviously see it affecting luminance here. Let's go right here and then we're going to go here to density depth and it's pretty much controlling the effects of the density adjustments on the brighter parts of the image. And we're kind of affecting even further what we did here in density. Let's reset those. Saturation up here in this tool, it pretty much cranks up the saturation without really cranking up the luminance, which is pretty huge. So we come here to saturation, it kind of pumps up the saturation without making the image uh, unnaturally bright. Obviously, if you put it all the way up, it's going to look a little, uh, a little unnatural, but with those smaller adjustments, it'll look even better. Okay, so the saturation balance, this one is a little weird. I wanted to look up the very correct definition of this and the very correct definition of this saturation balance is it adjusts how saturation changes affect the luminance balance and colors with medium saturation levels. Uh, it's a handful. So we're going to crank our saturation up. If we put saturation balance up and down, you can see the luminance change of our very saturated parts of the image. The saturation depth controls the effect of saturation adjustments on the brighter areas of the image. You can definitely see that happening. And then we have our hue. We all know what hue does. The image kind of looks cool like that. Okay, we're going to go, we're going to start uh, looking at these. I'm just pretty much going to go over one of these. So we have very specific controls over six different color ranges here plus skin tones right here so if you look right here you can see what we are affecting here we have the yellow and we can kind of see the triangle here is what it is affecting in the color wheel and with the center you could slightly change uh, what colors fall into the vector space you can move it back and forth and it'll make the range either larger or smaller. Okay, and then the hue, obviously that affects the hue of the specific color. So in this case, yellow, as you can see on the screen. Obviously we have reset up here. Okay, so we make a big change. Obviously you reset it. And then the highlight will show you what you're affecting. Okay, now we can control the density of only a specific color. And remember density means it's adjusting the luminance of the more saturated parts. We see it do just that. And then right here we have our saturation controls. Same type of thing. It's affecting the saturation, but not really the luminance. So it doesn't give off a unnatural look. So the simplest way you can kind of use the color slice is go ahead and add a serial node and then right click add node add parallel and just go ahead and add four or however many colors you want to adjust all right i'm going to label that one skin i'm going to label this one yellow i'll label this one red and the last one blue i want to use the color slice for all of these so what i want to do is go ahead and highlight all of them right click and then go ahead and come all the way down and do create compound node and then change the node label to CS for a color slice. Okay, and now you could just double click to go ahead and adjust what you're doing. Double click, and you can click down here to go back. All right, so now let's start adjusting the skin. Everything looks good. Want to increase the saturation of the skin. I'll move that up. And you don't want to do anything too much in here because look, you can introduce a lot of noise if you start to not be subtle. 
So I'll I'll put the density of the skin up as well. I feel like you can give it more texture. So there we go. Let me go to yellow. You can change the hue of yellow. Increase the density. Decrease the saturation a little bit because it is a bit saturated. I'll go to red and I'll decrease the saturation of that. Then I'll go to blue. I'll kind of make the blue uh, pop a little bit more. So I'll bring up the saturation. Still looks natural. Bring up the density a little bit. The hue, I'll bring it more toward green cyan. Uh, let's go on and off with that. We just kind of made our image pop a little bit more. It's just a good way you can go and practice using it. And it's all right here in a nice compound uh, node. And then I'm going to go to this grade I did. I did the same thing here. I'm going to go off with it, on with it. And you see what I did with the color slice. It made the image, to me, look a lot better. Yeah, so go in there, fiddle with it. I think it's really cool. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments. With that being said, thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.